Hey folks, so I just had a, <laughs> I've had a couple times today where people are like, you don't seem like you like accept correction or you don't think like you like correction. There's, there's a few times where I've actually accepted the correction, but here's the thing. I don't have to like the correction. Now, if I'm wise, I'll accept it and I do, but if I'm in a, if I'm in an irritated mood, of course, I'm not going to like the correction, but if I'm not, the Bible doesn't command me, the, and, and, and God doesn't command me to like the correction i'm not i'm not told that i have to like it i'm told to if i'm in the wrong to accept the correction and i can accept things i don't like i do that a lot actually <laughs> i can accept many many things i don't like i don't always like exercising but i accept that i have to do it if i want to stay healthy i don't always like eating healthy even though i enjoy the, the benefits of eating a healthy diet i don't always like being um, the fa fact that I have to contend with my humanity while being saved by grace. I don't like a lot of things that I have to accept and need to accept if I want to live and function in this world as a functioning human being. But <laughs> to say that I have to like correction, well, this is just nonsense. And it's petty nonsense because it's not even a command that I have to like being corrected this is just abject nonsense. So let's cut this crap out. <laughs> I can accept correction. And this this Lori lady on Christian on Twitter, why can't you just apologize? Blah, 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 like doubling down on me. Which is ironic because she says I was doubling down on her. But it's like, do you need apologies, lady? Like, do you need me to say I'm wrong? And the thing is, like, if you just... If, if I apologize when someone says I should be apologizing, then that sounds kind of coerced and not heartfelt. And if I'm wrong about something, I want to, I want to, I'll admit it. But as I said to Lori, like, I, I don't say things just because you say, and I need, I need, sometimes I, I need, I need, I didn't, I need time to process. Now, if you don't accept that, I really don't care. Um, truth is, I need time to process stuff. And most of the things that um that people are telling me, anyways, I'm already in the middle of processing, and and I've and like I've I've literally apologized uh, publicly and individually, privately and online, hundreds of times for being wrong about I don't know, I've lost count about how many things times I've been wrong about things in my life. So, and I don't need this to, like as as uh, autocorrect sister autocorrect. Um, her handle is at autocorrect underscore 2.0, I believe, on, on Twitter. She had this thing, too, about tone policing. And it's... Okay, so if you... Things, Christians, I don't need to be corrected about every single time I say something coerce or um, slang... I'm not saying I don't need to be corrected, but I don't need the correction every single time. I'm well aware of my own humanity and my expression of it, okay? And I don't hide behind it. I don't make excuses for it. But I don't need correction for every time. Now, if you want to correct me here and there, that's fine. No problem. But I don't need it every time, is what I'm saying. And it's not helpful for me, even. All it feels like, oh my god, another... Um, another uh, Christian who thinks they need to correct me. And the other thing is about this whole long-windedness thing, too. That, that This thing really gets me on my nerves. Like, a Christian will say, give me a sign. Okay, you need to stop doing this. And then, like, another verse, and another verse. And I'm like, okay, I get it. I stop. I, I, I accept the correction. Well, it doesn't seem like you like the correction. As I just said, I don't have to like it. I just have to accept it. I can accept that which I do not like. These things are not one and the same. Why can't Christians get this through their heads? <sighs> Christians. <laughs> I love Christians, of course, because they're my brothers and sisters. But sometimes you guys drive me batshit crazy. Now I'm probably going to get some comment for saying that. But oh well, such is life. All right, that's it for now. Peace out, Brother Rob.